Hello everybody, welcome to part two of uh, Build Your Own Motorcycle Trailer. I've been down to the steel merchant and I got a real bargain. Um, it's always worth when you go down to your local steel, uh, steel people to, to ask if you can look through the off cuts. And I got, so I couldn't believe my find this time. I got this C section here, which we're going to use. I've got another piece over there too. And so I've got two two metre lengths of this C section and I've got a few off cuts of 40mm uh, box. Uh, it was all for 30 quid, it was brilliant. The C-section we're using is actually an off-cut that they had, I think it was a mistake they'd made. They guillotined up some quarter inch plate and put a curve in it, and it was no good for them, so the full four metre length was laying outside. Um, so they cut it in half for me, and here it is, it's going to be fantastic for this job I think. Um, the first job we're going to have to do is mark out where it needs to go, which is it's pretty central where it is now, I've just had a quick uh, a quick look at it before the video and then what we've got to do because this is a galvanised trailer is clean off all the galvanising because you can't weld through it, it's terrible. I've just put, so I, I did a quick video before this one uh, how to weld to galvanised steel, really worth a watch. Um, so the next, I guess the next thing we've got to do then is uh, mark out where the welding is going to take place, clean it back with a linishing disc or a wire brush or something like that in the, in the angle grinder clean up, the, uh, clean up the, the mild steel, the quarter inch plate here, and then weld it down. That's going to be the first part, so then technically it could be used. Um, let's get on with it. Okay, that's it marked. Uh, all I've done is just scratch the galve with the screwdriver. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put some gloves on, put some goggles on, I'm going to put the linishing disc in the grinder and I'm going to take off all of that galve right where we're going to weld. Um, I'm going to take off more than it looks like I need to because I'm actually going to do some welding underneath which means I have to tip the trailer either on its side or upside down or something like that. So let's have a go at that. See that took quite a lot of getting off. It uh, it's really stuck to this thing. It really has. But it's it's imperative you get it off. Um, I'm convinced when I'm doing some welding to this now, I'm still going to find a bit. It's going to annoy me. But uh, I think that's going to do for now. So the next thing we'll do is we'll put the C section back down the middle. We'll measure it in. Get it in the centre, and uh, we'll get it all lined up and weld it in. I suppose. Sounds like a plan. Don't need those on there. That doesn't actually balance there, but we put a clamp on it.
Sure. Right. Let's see what we've got. Remember, remember right, that's 220 to there. This might sound strange. It has got to be in the centre, but if we're a couple of mil either way, it won't hurt anybody. But <coughs> even if I was making this as a two motorcycle trailer, if it was wider, I would probably still put one ramp on its own down the middle because you don't want all the weight over, over to the one side of the trailer to make it off balance. But uh, just for a single one like this, so long as it's in the middle, we're all right. Let's take a look. What's that old saying? Think thrice, measure twice, and cut once. Okay. This one's just going this way as so. much. Perfect. We are in the middle. That's actually cracked on. So, as you can see there, get out of the way of the camera. The axle and this back cross member are level, but the one at the front steps up. It's absolutely fine, I'll just run a weld around it. And um, there's going to be something on that end anyway, for like a wheel clamp to hold the bike in place. So the next thing we're going to do is fire up the MIG plant, and uh, well, I guess we're going to see if we've got all the galv off. Right, let's do it. If you're new to welding, there's actually another video on the channel, uh, subscribe, uh, it's Introduction to Welding. Um, we're going to be MIG welding this, uh, all the details in how to go on with it, all the little ins and outs, all of the welding videos, so I'm not going to dwell on it too much now. Uh, I'm just going to start, so let's have a go at it. What I'm going to do first, I'm going to put a tack in all four corners. The purpose of that is to stop the whole thing moving around as I'm welding because the heat will actually pull the job left and right. So the first one's going to be in this corner. Would of course help if I put the earth clamp on. I put it there on purpose, you know, so I forget it. That was a test and I failed it. Always trim back the wire. I think what I'm going to do, because there's quite a big, uh, there's quite a big radius around here, I'm actually going to run another weld straight over the top of that to bring it out. If you're using a bigger machine, it won't be a problem. This is only a small machine, so it's, uh, it's no problem at all. We'll just go over the top of it again, just to make sure. Well, we definitely got it without it coming off, but uh, we're here, so we may as well do it.
Okay, that's got all the different points on the top of it welded down. So I'm going to tip the train on its side now and um, weld everything underneath. Make sure we're nice and strong. Uh, there were a few places actually there where even though all that time was spent grinding off the, uh, the galb, I was still finding it. So it just goes to show you've really got to, uh, you know, do it, try and try again. You've got to really get it off. It takes, so it takes a while. So I'm going to tip it to the side now. Still not very heavy, which I don't think it is. It should just be a case of doing that. Without ruining the door. Perfect. Okay, we've got all that welded up. Uh, the camera actually stopped recording just as I started doing the front, but it doesn't matter. We've got uh, Welded on the front back of that beam there, we welded it directly to the axle and we've got a bit more work to at the front, but that's going to be incorporated into the wheel clamp, so uh, I'm not worried about that for the moment. But, up to press, it's now got a proper bed on it, it's secured, it can't go anywhere, you could put a bike on that right now, so that's good, that I think I'll do is for uh, part two. Part three, I think what we're going to do for part three, you'll notice from part one I've taken the trailer board off. Um, Part three, I think I'll make the ramp. Uh, so by the end of part three, hopefully, you should see a bike on it. But, uh, well, let's see, see how far we get. But, not a bad job. I think it's going really well. It's, uh, I think it's going to make a fantastic little bike trailer. I really do. Um, I was moaning on about the galvanizing being on it. But it's just worth pointing out, these are dispension units. We're not galvanized. And obviously this bit of jet ski trailer has been in out, been in and out of uh, or water, what looks like salt water, the sea, for all of its life. And the trailer itself is absolutely fine and solid. These, I'm going to have to do a bit of service on these and see if they're worth keeping. I've actually got another two in stock. They might just be surface rust, but I think they might be had it. The good news is they've got new hubs on. We'll do that in another video. But that's it for part two. Thanks for watching. Um, subscribe to the channel. Feel free to comment uh, below. Tell everybody about me, no problem at all. Get everybody subscribed and we'll put lots more videos up about one a week. Thanks a lot for watching.